31 degrees Celsius and <laughs> climbing. Good morning, the sun is shining. It is just before 8 o'clock, a really early start for me, but uh, yeah, because of the heat I need to do this. But I had a good night's sleep in this uh, very nice hotel. And uh, let's hit the road, let's do 80 kilometers today in the bleaching sun. How do? Good morning indeed, from Germany, in uh, Bayern, Bavaria. Just uh, doing a short route now from the hotel back to the original track on paved surface. And uh, yeah, a bit of a worry for the, uh, the temperature today, but it is uh, 32 degrees. Normally that's okay for me, but yeah, on this really steep climbs like this without any shade, and then 32 degrees, it, uh, isn't really uh, my kind of thing. So let's see, I got enough water, three liters in the backpack, and a bottle uh, there as well, and uh, there's not that many shops along the way, or uh, bakeries or whatever. But there's some gas stations, uh, which I pulled out on the map, so I should be able to get some hydration there, uh, and food as well on the way. See you later on the road, how do? Back on the route and uh, yeah, climbing. And we hit the gravel again. All right, so first turn after uh, quite a distance. Now, this direction going. Uh, east. Okay, let's continue east. And we go north again. So, I haven't met a single soul uh, since I uh, left the village. It's uh, really quiet and peaceful here. Yeah, so far so good. So the first major point on my route today is the point where I need to cross a highway on the bridge and I read in the comments for this route on bikepacking.com that the, that the bridge is out and uh, the guy did describe uh, an alternative but uh, a small detour but let's see uh, how uh, the situation is today So that means a uh, bridge over the uh, Autobahn Highway 7 is uh, blocked. Uh, I can hear the highway in the distance, so uh, shouldn't be that far away. All right, so it's not a matter of uh, ignoring the rules and go over the bridge anyhow. The bridge is just no longer there. However, there is supposed to be on the left side a, uh, yeah, what we call a viaduct for the wildlife, where the wildlife can cross the highways. It's in fact just a bridge, but not meant for people normally. But this guy said that uh, you could... Uh, flies. Uh, uh. This guy said that you, uh, that I should be able to pass uh, through the, over the viaduct. Let's see. flies so mission close bridge succeeded
to jinx it, but uh, there's a lot of relatively flat uh, terrain uh, I've been riding uh, yeah, the first few hours at that, uh, actually, so that's really relaxed the uh, start of the day. Uh, uh, yeah, but there will be tough climbs, but indeed, I don't think it will be like, uh, like yesterday's ride. Yeah, there won't be uh, as many steep climbs, I think. Enjoying myself in Bavaria. <laughs> All right, almost at the top of this terrible climb. Short, but really steep in the full sun, no wind. But we made it. Kein Trinkwasser, but uh, it should be able to provide me some cooling. That's better. Ah, oh, I see some nice shady trees over there. Thank you. Haribo, Haribo macht Kinder vor und die Biker ebenso. So I think we're over the top of that significant uh, climb. Might be the highest point even for today. Um, let's see. And I think we're in uh, for a, a nice uh, descent, a nice uh, long descent now. Auf die Wiese. few places uh, on the route today where you can get some uh, food so I did and uh, yeah first time I'm taking this power rate but I think it's good uh, when you sweat a lot uh. <sighs> let's go uh, another steep climb but it makes such a difference that 
We're actually in the shade, dude. This uh, pretzel kind of bread, it's really nice, and I can use the, the salt. This power rate also, uh, I think it's uh, it really helps. Yeah, I've already done 60 kilometers. Anyhow, so I use this ride for all my off-road cycling. Yeah, mainly just around my uh, place where I live in the Netherlands, and also occasionally for for bikepacking. If I'm having uh, going out with the panniers, I usually take my other uh, bike, the uh, specialized A wall. Yeah, what else can I say? So I chose for this particular setup, so with a carbon belt and a roll of internal hump, uh, because of yeah, it's I wanted the bike to be as low maintenance as possible. I also chose that's why the uh, the fork without any uh, suspension uh, because yeah I'm really bad at cleaning my bike so I wanted <laughs> the bike to be as hoofter uh, proof we say in the Netherlands as, uh, as possible so uh, yes as low maintenance as possible and so far I really love the bike and also for the bike packing it's uh, it's really good so that's uh, that's my new bike the Santos 429 a long climb in a, in a straight line for kilometers but most of it in the shade so uh, really okay though I am getting a bit tired now but uh, yeah, I think sorry another hour or so and then uh, I should reach the final destination for today oh more climbing thirty one degrees Celsius and climbing Waldbach. All right, time for a final snack. I have time enough, so uh, I think we've lost one last uh, small but steep climb to do uh, before we reach the final destination. Okay, let's go for the final stretch. I think that hill needs to be climbed. Yes, shade, I need shade. We made it! I think that was the final climb of today. Ah, oh, I think in total about 1450 meters of climbing today, which is not bad. But indeed, overall, the climbs were a lot more gradual than uh, than yesterday, which makes it uh, yeah more pleasant. Less uh, hike a bike or also uh, less walking with the bike. But now let's go to the hotel. Let's find the usual stuff: food, beer, shower, and since I'm early, I might take a short nap. But uh, <laughs> hey, I'm also getting old, right? So I think I'm entitled to a nap if I want to. How do? You? 